pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. That's the Chicago way. That's right. That's right. And this is the Chicago way. Lauren Cohn, John Cass. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, John. Listen, um, the NFL, let's just get right to it, okay? The NFL has its problems, okay? <laughs> you think? You know, Ray Rice knocks his girlfriend out, drags her, then she gets married. Now he's going to come back to the football, and the guy guess he'll play again. You have the... Um, Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson beating the special purpose of his four-year-old son with a stick. And now we have Darnell Dockett. Mm. Darnell Dockett, the um, defensive end for the... For St. Louis? Where is he in St. Louis? No, he's on the Cardinals. Phoenix Cardinals. He posted a questionable picture of one of the Obama girls, the mm-hmm. daughters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Malia Obama. He actually, uh, it was already out there. He didn't take the picture, but he's like many others are he's putting it. Yeah. And uh, it's actually a picture of her. Um, it's a booty shot. Derriere. It. It's not the quite the Kim, Kim Kardashian naked one, though. Oh, no. There's She's no actually baby wearing oil. jeans and a sweater. <laughs> there's no baby oil, thank God. Otherwise, we'd have, you know, definitely the CIA would be involved. And Take he tweeted. Chicken, boom, boom. This yeah. is just her, a, a 16 year old girl. She's kind of walking away. She's got jeans and a sweater he's, on. And he's, he's enjoying the curve of the curvature of the lower behind the spine. Yeah, his okay. quote was O M G G G G G. All right, now, if Elizabeth Loughton had to, that's the PR, Republican PR person for uh, Tennessee Republican uh, Stephen Finch, if if he had to, she had to resign, which she did, the, the lynch mob of social media got all upset because how dare you criticize the Obama girls, right, for dressing a certain way when they pardon the turkeys, shouldn't Mr. Dockett be forced out of the NFL for regurgitating a booty shot of a 16-year-old girl who just happens to be the president's daughter, dude. I know it's a serious question, but to me, it would... I wouldn't you think he it. should resign? I think he should resign, or like Jason Bourne's going to come find him. <laughs> you know, give him some meds or something. I actually think they're two oh, very yeah. different things. Mm-hmm. Now, I wouldn't have necessarily said that she should resign, but I didn't get her entire take on what the girls did. I thought that the girls were fine, dressed fine, acted mm-hmm. fine, and I even think mac and cheese acted fine during the entire ceremony. What about the tofu turkey? <laughs> That's <laughs> so, another one. Yeah. The tofu turkey. In this case, there's so many photos and things that are out there on social media. There's some, so many pictures that have been taken of first daughters, uh, and, and they're saying old. stuff about this. It's kind of like you expect it, and it's kind of like, okay, whatever. Okay, dude. but she's 16 years old. Right. You are look. Here's what you're saying when you post that, that you're looking at the butt of a 16-year-old girl who happens to be the president's daughter. Which means, you know, How would you like a Darnell don't Dockett? date him. How would you like a Darnell Dockett if some, like, soccer player years from now, post a picture of your daughter's butt. I'm not saying he should have... How would you like it, sir? <laughs> I'm not saying he should have uh, reposted it or should be OMGing be it, should, but I don't know that he OMG. should resign over it. He shouldn't be resigned. He should be forced to resign. And I'll tell you why. Okay. When I was a young lad, <laughs> there was a girl that I dated just to for like two that. days. Yeah, I know. It's very... It's back <laughs> in the days of horse and buggies and gas like that. <laughs> there was a girl in Chicago Ridge. Her name was Karen, and she was very... Very attractive young lady. And I went to uh, take her out for dinner, uh, for a date. And uh, I think we we're going to go to Sinise's Pub or maybe Palermo's on 95th. And uh, she said, we can't leave till my father comes home. So I waited. And, and all of a sudden I hear the large rumbling of a huge Harley Davidson in the driveway. And then Boots. The heavy sound of boots coming up the steps. And then a guy about 6'5", right, three, 250 pounds of muscle with a with a um, leather vest on and a T-shirt and some kind of logo on the back of that leather vest, long hair and a beard. And he sits down and she runs and gets him a beer. And he doesn't even look at me. And then he says, you're going to date my daughter? And I said, yes, sir. And he said... You're going to treat her well, aren't you? And I just was so terrified. (laughs) 
I was terrified. And I'm just telling you, if that guy scared me, mm-hmm. Mr. Darnell Dockett, remember mm-hmm. what the president, he's the president of the United States of America. Yeah. All he's got to do is press a button and y- the United States. And invite can- you to the White House. <laughs> yeah, for, for dinner. spaghetti dinner. <laughs> with Al Sharpton. And there's like, with, there's Bisqueen on the ground. <laughs> or, scat, scat, or he's got a, he's got a, you know, he presses a button and immediately we're like working together with Iran to kill ISIS. Exactly. There he you can go. do anything. Hey, a lot of stuff uh, that you just said in that story reminds me of a story my mom told me that when uh, she was younger and uh, boys used to come to the house and, you know, pick her up for a date, her father would be sitting in the living room polishing his gun. <laughs> they That's would walk right. in, in those days. And she said it was devastating to have a father who polished a gun. She said she didn't get asked out a lot after that when that, no. that got around. She is a 16-year-old girl. She's the president of the United States daughter. And I have nieces who are that age, a little older now. Mm-hmm. One's about, you know, one's about 16, 17. The other's in college, Leah and Connie. Anybody looks at Leah and Connie's behinds, I guarantee you, Uncle Pete and me and the boys, we're going to, we're not going to, we're going to go DEFCON 5. <laughs> we're going to take some immediately. calls. We're going to take some calls on this coming up. 312-591-8900 to hear what you have to say. But I got to say, this is the problem with social media today. It's like anything is out there is fair game. And so even if he didn't take the picture, if he saw it, you say, he, oh my he, God, he, you're he like, puts it, he puts it out lusting. there. You're he, part of the creepy factor. Uh, he also said, quote, L-M-F-A-O-O-O. What does that mean, Lauren? I'm asking you. L-M-A-F-O-O. L-M-F-A-O-O-O. Left my fool. I'll tell you guys off off air what it means. Is it something? Uh-oh. Ryan, our our spiritual broadcast nephew, you're not our son anymore. I've been booted. <laughs> what is it? Is, it? is it mean something that the president of the United States might send Jason Bourne to, to, to find this guy? Uh-oh. It's, it's possible. It's We're possible. about to okay, get a lesson in during the break. Darnell Dockett, you're a dead man. Your See call's you. coming up. Plus, we want to name the Shed Aquarium seal pup. You know, John, the one I wanted to take home with me. He's getting yeah, a little bigger that, now, though, so I'm not so sure. We're going to name him a uh, nice uh, winter coat. All right, back here on the Big 89, John thinks Darnell Dockett should resign, considering uh, he's posting about um, Malia Obama's um, derriere photo on the internet. You're ogling the president's daughter's butt. Mm -hmm. You're in big trouble. Just put it in, look through the peephole of your apartment. You know what happens. (laughs) I see those movies all the time. Jason Bourne's on the other side of the peephole, and then you're, you know... Matt Damon is kind of short, though, so he probably wouldn't even reach the people. It would have to be like a new Jason Bourne. <laughs> like, so, anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll take some calls on that note. Hey, Jim, good morning. You are on 89 WLS with John and Lauren. Good morning. Great show. If, in fact, the Obamas are protective of their daughters, of their children, that is truly commendable. However, there is a double standard here. Let us not forget that during the first campaign, the Obamas vowed that their children would not be part of the campaign process and would not be used in any way. But within 24 to 72 hours of making that statement, there was an interview on television, and there were the Obama girls prominently displayed as Exhibit 1 and Exhibit 2. Uh, forward to your comment. If, you know what? Pursuant to your information, let me tell you that one time President Obama was dignified, and then... He went to went to Hawaii, and was photographed like a starlet. Remember, with coming out of the sea foam. <laughs> he was coming out of the ocean. The where ocean he went swimming with his swimming with, with his the, six pack, and you with were intimidated. The six pack and his and his and his uh, <laughs> the sea foam dripping off his pecs. He's Jim allowed from to Oklahoma. swim in the ocean, John. I just tell you, he you might know. not be good at foreign policy if or he domestic would, policy, but he can. You come out of the if ocean. If President Obama were Greek or Italian, there would be a big <laughs> difference. I just, I'm thinking, I <laughs> Thanks, don't know. Jim. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, you know, you, you, you get upset with Michelle Obama's arms being exposed. Now don't, you don't like I'm the president coming out of the ocean them. looking good. I'm not upset with them. I'm intrigued by them. You're just I'm jealous. I'm enthralled by the <laughs> strong, supple, oiled arms of a well, what kind of a lady. show did this just become? It oh, became a porn arms? show. Wait till, wait till, we, <laughs> Give wait, us two wait till we get the seal and the, That's the seal and the penguin. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mark, in the car. Welcome to the show. What say you? Good morning, guys. I got a quick story. Uh, my, uh, year, about a year ago, my then 16 year old daughter went on our first real date. Mm-hmm. A guy came to the house. So I brought him outside, and uh, the day she was born, I bought a bag of lye. 
And I opened up my trunk, and there is in the trunk is a shovel and a bag of lye. And I asked him, what time is he going to have my firstborn daughter back to the house for her 11 o'clock curfew? So I set the tone real quick with this gentleman. Uh, he had her home at 10 58. Because fear is what stops those little salmon from swimming upstream, right, Mark? Well, absolutely. That's I the only thing. I have, no, I have no, no problem going back to prison, even though I'm a police officer. And I, you know, <laughs> I in prison. My brother so wanted... Real quick. Mark, my brother, and, my brother wanted me and uh, him to uh, just have holsters and take our, our yeah. you know, take our uh, jackets off with the kid in the room, you know, in the kitchen. Yeah. And not even talk absolutely. to him. All right, thanks, thanks Mark. Thanks. Wow. That's how it is. Fear.